Okay, so good morning everyone. Andito na tayo sa ating part 5 ng ating electric uh, electricity videos. We're in yung ating part 4 is the previous, uh, this is a continuation of our part 4. We're in, we're going to apply na ng mga OMSL application using a real-time questions. Okay. So, sa ating part 4 is diniscuss natin yung mga um, OMSL application using the series, di ba? The series application the parallel connection and the four quantities or in pag sinabi natin four quantities ng ating Ohm's law okay punta muna tayo sa Ohm's law discovered by George Simon Ohm where in it, reiter it reiterates that there is a connection between the current voltage and resistance where it states that current is directly proportional to voltage and inversely proportional to its resistance we have four quantities the power uh, the current the voltage the resistance and the power okay current amperes voltage or uh, volts okay resistance measured in ohms and power is measured or indicates wattage okay so if we're going to find the formulas through the series circuit if we're going to find um the series circuit is pwede nyo siyang i-browse yung ating mga videos sa ating part 4 kung hindi nyo pa napapanood kindly watch para mas makasunod kayo sa ating mas sa ating mga videos na susunod. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. And if you are having a time, uh, if you are having a trouble, okay, or simply you just want to ask questions and raise some contents, pwede natin uh, pag-usapan dito sa ating uh, videos is pwede po kayo mag-raise by just commenting on the comment section below and we will do everything to answer those questions and para uh, magkaroon tayo ng uh, usapan or conversations between the matters. Okay? So, today, uh, part 5, we're going to discuss the Ohm's Law application. This is a real-time questions. Okay? So, the first question. Okay. Ito. There are two resistances of 4 Ohm and 6 Ohm are in series and another 10 Ohm resistance in parallel to the series combination. Okay? The resultant resist resistance is okay. So this question is very tricky. Bakit? Kasi meron daw tayong dalawang resistance na nakakonek sa series, yung 4 ohm and 6 ohm. Tapos i-connect yung isang resistance which ang value niya is 10 ohm na nakaparallel naman dun sa series combination. So ibig sabihin magkakaroon tayo dito ng parallel connection sa dulo. So, ano daw yung, dina ano daw yung resultant resi resistance? Okay? So, just simply, again, following the steps, ano ba yung hinahanap natin? Ano yung hinahanap natin? Resistance. Diba? Say, so, what is the resultant resistance? Diba? Okay, what are the given values? So, ano yung mga given values? The given values is the 4 ohms and 6 ohms which is connected in series. Okay? At tandaan nyo yun. 4 ohm and 6 ohm are connected in series. While, a second value, which is the 10 ohms, is connected in parallel. Yun yung mga given values natin dito. Okay, next. Ano ba yung formula na gagamitin natin? Okay, going back dun sa ating mga previous quest, uh, sa ating mga previous videos, we have applied some certain procedures and formulas if we're going to find the resistance using the series connection and the parallel connection in accordance with the Ohm's law application, di ba? Kasi, kung ang formula na gagamitin natin dito is pang series lang or pang parallel lang, hindi natin makukuha yung resultant resistance. Bakit? Kasi there are two connections given at one question. The series and parallel. So, ano yung mga formulas na gagamitin natin? The first, okay, so punta muna tayo. Ito yung unang sinabi dyan. Uh, i-view muna natin yan. There are two resistances connected in series. So, ibig sabihin, there is a reaction, uh, there is a chain. ba? Kasi, ito yung, ito na yung uh, unang-una nating, yan na yung una nating, um, uh, uh, yan yung una nating, ano bang tawag dyan? Okay. Okay, yan yung una nating diagram. Okay? So, there is a connection among um, a series wherein 4 ohm and 6 ohm. 
So, mag mahalaga na i-diagram muna natin sila para mas makuha natin agad. Okay. So, dito is, ang formula na gagamitin natin pag series is RT is equal to R1 plus R2. Diba? So, sa previous videos natin, if we're going to find the formula, or if we're going to find the resistance using the series connection, the formula to be used in accordance with the Ohm's law application is RT is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so on. Kasi, resistance is sum of all resistances. Okay? So, following the formula RT is equal to R1 plus R2, RT is equal to 4 ohm plus 6 ohm. Definitely, makuha natin yung answer na RT is equal to 10 ohm. So, definitely, yan yung resultant resistance natin kung ang question lang is 4 ohm and 6 ohm connected in series. But, there is another connection which reiterates that there is a still a connection of a 10 ohm resistance na ikonunag siya na nakaparallel dyan sa ating series combination na yan. Therefore, ito yung susunod nating diagram. Okay? So, parang naging parallel connection na siya. Wherein yung R1, okay, siya yung resistance, resultant resistance natin in series. And there is an additional connection in parallel which is R2, yung 10 ohm resistance. Definitely, nakaparallel na siya. So, ano yung formula na gagamitin natin pag nakaparallel? ba meron tayong tatlong formulas kapag kainahanap natin is resistance where kapag hinahanapin is resultant resistance in power connection wherein it differs the formulas according to their values. If one value, we're going to use R over N, two values, uh, product over sum or R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. And if there has three or more values, then uh, ang formula na gagamitin natin is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Then, according to our diagram, okay, tingin mo na kasi diagram natin. Ayan. So, which of the following formulas to be used in accordance para makuha natin yung specific value na hinahanap natin dyan? So, is it R over N, R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2, or 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3? Okay. So, ang formula na gagamitan natin dyan simply is the same value. Bakit? Kasi isa po yung value, which is the 10 ohms lang. Okay? <clears throat> so, ang formula sa parallel, kaya nga sinasabi ko, same value, two values, and three values. Definitely, ito na po yung ating um, solution. Ang formula na gagamit natin is the same value where it reiterates that the resistance is R and N represents the number of resistors present dun sa isang parallel connection. So, RT is equal to R over N. RT is equal to 10 over 2. 10 is sa yung value ng resistance. And 2 is sa yung number of resistances present dun sa isang parallel connection. Which, makakapagbigay siya ng sagot na... Okay, makakapagbigay siya ng sagot nating 5 ohms. So, hindi, na na, hindi, hindi na siguro na ilagay. Nawala. Which, ang sagot natin, pag RT is equal to 10 over 2, ang sagot po is 5 ohms. ba? Kung 5 sa sagot nyo, is tama po kayo. Okay, next. There are two resistors of 3 ohm and 15 ohms are connected in parallel to a 30 volt circuit. The current flowing through the 3 ohm resistance resistor is. Okay, so in this matter naman, this is this question is very tricky. Bakit ang dami niya ipinigay na values? Bakit? Two resistors ng 3 ohm and 15 ohm connected siya in parallel to 30 volt circuit. The following or the current flowing through a 3 ohm resistor is. Again, find what is us. Okay, ano ba yung hinahanap talaga natin? Ang hinahanap po natin is current. Bakit? Ang sabi dyan, the current, ba? The current flowing through what? Through the resistor 3 is what? Okay, what is us? Current. Ano yung mga given values? The given values are 30 volt. Bakit? 30 volts. Okay? What is the current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor? And 
the given or presented vote circuit is 30 volt. 30 volt and 3 ohm. Bakit hindi po natin sinamin yung 15 ohm? Hindi po natin sinamin yung 15 ohm. It's because the question reiterated only is what is the current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor? Kaya mahalaga po natin na basahin po natin maigi yung pinaka last or pinaka tail po ng question kasi nandun po yung pinaka core niya. Kung ang babasahin natin agad or gagawa ga tayo ng hakbang Kasi pwede tayong magulo dyan. Kasi pwede nating kunin yung resistances ni 3 ohm at saka 15 ohm na nakaparallel muna dun sa 30 volt circuit. Pero kung i-understand natin or simply just internalize the question or yung tape, it just only says what is the current flowing through the 3 ohm resistance resistor. Kaya ang given values lang natin po is 30 volt and 3 ohm. So, ano yung formula na gagamitin natin? VIR. Okay? Bakit? Kasi siya po yung mag stand for 30 volts and the 3 ohm which is for resistance. Definitely, 30 divided by 3 is equal to 10 ampere. So, ba? Medyo madali lang siya at hindi siya ganun kahirap kasi uh, if we're going to internalize and analyze the questions, each and every question has only one simple que uh, simple uh, solutions to use. First, mahalaga-mahalaga, hanapin natin yung what is us. Sunod, ano ba yung mga given values? By finding what are the given values, we're going to look first also, dito muna, what is the question na ini-reiterate in sa question mismo? Ano ba talaga yung pinakainahanap natin? Ano ba talaga yung mga given para makuha natin? At ano ba yung formula na gagamitin natin? So, mahalaga na sa ulo niya din yung mga formulas. Simply, by just following the trick triangle, madali po natin niyang makukuha. Okay. Yan, nakuha agad. Okay. So, two resistors of 6 ohm and 9 ohm are connected in a series to a 120 volt source. What is the power consumed by 6 ohm resistor? Again, what is as what is as is power. Okay, what are given? 120 volt and 6 ohm. Bakit? Kasi ang hinahanap po natin, again, katulad po nung nauna, what is the power consumed by 6 ohm resistor? Okay? What is the power consumed by 6 ohm resistor? So, the given values presented is 120 volt and 6 ohm. Definitely, ang hinahanap natin is power. The power, meron tayong tatlong formulas na gagamit ng pag hinahanap natin yung power, ba? So, sunod na sa is what is the formula to be used. Ang formula natin sa power is P is equal to I times A. P is equal to E squared over R. P is equal to I squared times R. Definitely, pag ang formulas na gagamitin natin, it, it must depend on the given presented or sa values presented. Definitely, ang given values presented is voltage and resistance. Definitely, ang gagamitin natin formula is P is equal to E squared over R. So, a-assign na tayo ng values. E squared for 120, 6 ohm for resistance. Definitely, 120 square over 6. 120 square is 14,400 divided by 6. Makukuha po natin yung answer na 2,400 watts or 2.4 kilowatts. Okay. So, ganun po yung pagkuha natin. Ganun po yung mga pag-answer uh, natin ng mga questions. You're going to find what is asked, what are given. Okay. By finding what are given, you're going to reiterate first what is the... Ano ba yung core ng question? Ano ba yung tail ng question niya? Para makuha natin yung mga given values na pwede natin i-assign sa formulas na mag-switch or mag uh, fit dun sa given values presented. Tapos mag-assign tayo ng values, then makukuha natin yung tamang answers. So, sa mga susunod po nating videos is mag-answer pa rin po tayo or mag re ng iba't ibang questions all about electricity. So, dyan muna natin tatapusin yung mga pagsagot sa mga uh, real-time OMS law application kasi we have still one thing na ipapasok natin sa ating part 5 which is the conditions of a circuit. Pag sinabi natin condition of a circuit, dalawa po, uh, ano po yan? Yan po yung mga condition na kalimitan nangyayari sa ating circuit. At ang kalimitan na nangyayari dyan is yung short circuit. At tatandaan nyo po, pag short circuit, there are two lines 
which connect dun sa isa't isa, pero magkaiba yung voltage. Okay? There are two nodes, the line 1 and line 2, which uh, intended at different voltage, but they meet. Okay? Nag-meet po sila. So, nagkaroon po tayo na short circuit. Okay? So, yun po yung uh, pag nagsagop sila, nagkaroon ng spark, kasi magkaiba yung voltage nila. Let's say, for example, ang voltage nito 125, ang voltage nito 220, tapos naglapat po yung dalawang wire na yan, ibig sabihin, magkakaroon ng spark yan. Bakit? Kasi uh, magkaiba yung current flowing dun sa kanilang wires. When load 1, ah, uh, when line 1 and line 2 contact with each other at different voltage, magkakaroon po tayo ng short circuit and can create fire. Okay, open circuit. Pag sinabi natin open circuit, the current flows is incomplete. So, ibig sabihin, on or off? Off po. Off. Okay, the car, uh, the circuit is off. Bakit? Kasi there is an incomplete flow of um, connection between the, from the source down to the load. Ibig sabihin, hindi na makakabalik ulit sa source. Ibig sabihin, incomplete. Putol po yung linya. Naka-off po siya. Okay? Next, closed circuit. When there is a complete flow. Kanina yung open, ibig sabihin incomplete. Okay? Ito namang closed circuit, ibig sabihin there is a complete flow of electric current. The switch is on. Yung open circuit, the switch is off. Closed circuit, the switch is on. Next, grounded circuit. Okay? Tatandaan nyo po lagi dyan. When one uninsulated conductor, kung yung isang wire po natin, na uninsulated, nag-touch dun sa metal part ng isang appliance, magkakaroon po tayo ng electric caution or yung tinatawag natin grounded circuit. And uh, lastly is yung overload circuit. Pag overload circuit, yung uh, current, total current flowing dun sa circuit is more than the current capacity. Ibig sabihin, hindi na kinaya kasi siya po ay nag-overload circuit. Again, the conditions of a circuit, short circuit, open circuit, closed circuit, grounded circuit, and overload circuit. Pag short circuit, Two lines connected with each other but in uh, magkaiba yung kanilang voltage rating. Open circuit, switch off. Closed circuit, switch on. Ground, grounded circuit, when one uninsulated part or uh, conductor touches the metal part of the appliance. Pagka sinabing overload circuit, hindi po kinaya. More than the current capacity. So, ayan yung ating conditions of the circuit. Okay, so, at dyan po muna natatapos ang ating uh, part 5 ng ating electricity. So, if you have questions to ask, just raise on the comment section and don't uh, forget to lick. Ah, uh, to lick. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> don't forget the like button and the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So, kita-kita sa mga sunod nating videos. God bless and good luck.